I do uh, your name on my ass if it gets to eight. No, 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 never gonna happen. So Neo stock has bounced off around the six dollar range. So has Chinese equities bounce quite significantly. Now, can we trust this bounce, or is it going to fall even more? Now, before I go any further, I want to talk to you about a penny stock that I'm personally invested in. The ticker symbol is SXTP. Name is 60 Degree Pharmaceutical. Right now, it's trading at around 50 cents. And I believe, in my personal opinion, that it can go up to $1 or even up to $1.50 and beyond. Now, I invested in this company because the FDA approved and trademarked Aracoda aka tafinoquin is a malaria preventative drug that's already approved and being sold in the u.s and they have a lot of other products in the pipeline and i believe it's a very uh, attractive price point not telling you to buy or sell the stock but something to maybe look at all right not financial advice as always so after new stock has dipped its toes down to 5.85 came back up last week to 6.7 ish 6.8 ish only to fall back down and then the next day to also explode up 6.5 ish and then to be pushed back down to below six but now it seems like six is the temporary bottom all right is the bottom for the moment okay and chinese stocks has also rebounded quite significantly which is quite nice. Now, during the time leading up to Chinese New Year, there's always some uh, enthusiasm. And likewise, Chinese stocks has been down for so long, like almost a full month, all right? Uh, more than 15 days of straight down. And it's about time for some green action. And usually before Chinese New Year, leading into Chinese New Year, there's a lot of enthusiasm around Chinese New Year, a lot of optimism. Everybody's happy to celebrate Chinese New Year with their family. And that may have some good impact on Chinese equities. Likewise, during Chinese New Year, everybody gets a lot of red packets. And so before Chinese New Year, people tend to not spend so much money uh, and buy, make big purchases because they're saving money for the celebratory events, uh, whether it's you know big dinner celebrations or, or giving these red envelope packets to the younger generation. But these do actually add up. So after Chinese New Year is over and you've consolidated uh, all the red packets that you've gotten from your elders and etc., and it's, it's supposed to be for good luck. So a lot of people, they get a lot of money. They get a lot of extra money. Uh, some red packets, I mean, the minimum is like 1,000, can go up to 10,000 RMB, I mean, or even more. And you get a few of these and that's enough for a down payment for ET5 or, or any car for that matter. So definitely after Chinese New Year, you're going to see a very good uh, boost in spending, all right? In general, in China, a lot of spending because people have money. They've uh, the elderly have given money to the younger generation and usually it's quite a substantial amount boost in spending also combined with the fact that new has the upgraded model out as well by march that's going to be a, a very powerful formula right there but in terms of the drop all right i'm going to play the devil's advocate first in previous uh, years we've all seen china come out with stimulus packages to help try to save the chinese stock market and it always resulted in a bounce, but nothing ever long lasting. But if we look at it this time, so that's the, that's the devil's advocate argument, all right, that this is just temporary bounce and then things are actually not that great and it's going to get worse. That's the devil's advocate. But if you look at it the other way, okay, if you look at it from a, a technical standpoint, I think uh, for the Shanghai Composite, uh, 2680, all right, 2680, 2700 ish seems to be like the absolute bottom, okay, in terms of the, the trend line right there. And it seems to be bouncing prematurely. Maybe I've drawn this a little bit off or something, but it seems like, I mean, we've dropped so much already. I mean, if we drop any more, people are just gonna go nuts you know the most popular videos here in china in terms of stocks are people sharing about how much they lost <laughs> yeah every day they're sharing about how much they lost and then there's lots of videos uh, very uh painful but funny videos of people just saying that they got essentially cheated on by the stock market and they call it da a big a 
or aka a shares all right and they're, they're referring to it as a person and they're cheating on them and like all sorts of really uh, uh funny sad but also painful videos some people showing uh, oh we lost 50,000 RMB a 500,000 RMB today to yesterday I lost like six 600,000 RMB what the hell's going on and all these kind of complaining videos and obviously it seems like we've reached a, a critical point in the entire market everybody's so pessimistic that it's gonna change right and right now Chinese New York there's optimism coming in so it seems like the bottom might hold like it might hold I personally think that if we don't get any other bad news, we're probably going to hover around these areas and maybe even head higher, especially into Chinese New Year going forward. But overall, in my opinion, $6 seems like to be a pretty good uh, bottom, in my opinion. If we get to the 4.7, absolute, that's like basement level price, man. That's like underground basement level price. That would mean that new uh, stock price is around cash level, just a bit above cash level. Yeah, so Neil has around roughly $4 uh, per share for cash, all right, just cash. So that would be a crazy uh, valuation to be at if it gets down to 4.7. So if that's the price it's, it's, it's at, oh my God, I'd be like, bye, 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 bye. But that's just my personal opinion. I don't think that will get like, you know, we might get down there and the, the charts are saying, hey, possibly get down there with the gap and everything. Now, by the way, the gap that I'm talking about is this gap right here that was formed back in uh, June, 2nd of June, 2020, when we had this big gap up, gap from $5 all the way down to around 4.72. And uh, gaps sometimes do get filled they are a magnet now when we went up we left a lot of gaps these gaps this one got filled that's when i called for eight a lot of people said no never gonna go to eight never impossible i'll tattoo uh, your name on my ass if it gets to eight no 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 never gonna happen but we got to eight still winning on that tattoo and then uh going back up uh back at 22 we got a gap over there and that's when i first called you know at 60 i said hey be careful it was around this price i said hey be careful we might go down to 22 because of the gap and people calling me crazy and retarded and all kinds of stuff so uh you know gaps are something to look out for all right so this is why i'm a little bit cautious i don't want it to go down i don't want it to go down let me make it clear but logically speaking there's a possibility all right there's always a possibility but i don't want it to go down we might get down there if there's some extreme pessimism like some real bad 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 really bad news came out or some shit like that but otherwise i don't think uh it's ever gonna get down there but if it does that's gonna be a big blessing guys it's gonna buy like crazy guys that's just my personal opinion all right but we are hovering at around six optimism is turning up here in china and also abroad and we've just been selling off for so so long guys we've been selling off for so so long it's about time to get some green action don't forget to check out sxpt as always stay safe stay healthy peace out